Hello to everybody. My name is Letizia. And some of you already know me from my channeling work with the interdimensional team known as Mujiji. I want at this point to clarify a couple of words. I said I am a channeler and a medium, and for those of you that don't know what that means, a medium is a conduit between different levels of existence of really different frequencies or wavelengths. And the interdimensional being is really a, a group of being, a group of intelligences that are communicating and conveying messages to us that can be understood and translated by the medium into our three-dimensional reality. The interdimensional beings were in past called also spirit guides, your guiding angel and other names. And their function again is to link with us and assist in us, but they are not really truly separate. They inhabit a different dimension of frequency, but they're not really separate from us. They are moving between a number of frequencies so they can have a particular angle to look at what we are traversing in our lives so that it can be truly be of assistance as they have a wider view, has a bird eye view assisting us to progress and to unfold further. And as a response to the extraordinary time we are living through, I wanted to share the perspective the Monjiji is offering us. So to make this easier to follow, I have created an episode answering questions put by a small group of friends here in England. To see other teaching from the Monjiji team, please visit the website, which is monjiji.com. And it spells M-U-N-J-I-J-I dot com. So my sincere wish is that you find the teaching helpful and sustaining during what is potentially a very transformative time for all of us. Monjiji calls it the blessing of the terrible. I'm trying to understand um how serious this this virus is, given that you know there are other similar viruses, which you know unfortunately. Yes, we can tell you. Yes. The difference is the the flowering of it. Means if you look at a virus like a tree that uh, springs few branches, meaning develops, this one spread many branches all at once which is the concern, uh, is the fast-moving spread, the level of contagion. So it's that's why contagion. that is not a level of a normal uh, flu virus. Oh, yeah, I see. It's a special one. And that number of people, even if they are mildly unwell or medium level unwell, affects because how it is spread, it can affect the structure on which things are operating. Yeah. So the structure that has to support the one really ill, the one the structure that has to support governments, the structure that has to support functioning of daily life, those structure can be uh, strongly limited because the way in which something that can be also considered mild but that keeps spreading, uh, it can paralyze vast number of populations. Mm. So it has to be contained and people have to become aware of it. So yeah. it's not comparable to a flu. An ordinary flu is one person to one person. This is 10, 20 to one person, you know, whatever they, mm. they are. So you, you have to think that a person is a carrier. So yes, you may want to clean surfaces, so on and so forth, but the people are the most carrier because eventually in surfaces he will die that virus yeah, yeah? eventually mm -hmm. but not on people they they thrive so that's why limiting contact of people but contact with other people will transmit mm. why do you think it's appeared at this moment in our history i mean presumably it was always around no necessary, no necessarily wasn't always around in human. At one point they jump from the usually the animal world 
into the human world because of contamination levels. What through some humans eating an animal that's got the virus? And or then... through handling an animal, not mm. necessarily eating it, but handling an animal and going to their hands, whatever is the virus, and mm. then they they don't wash, they don't clean yeah. themselves sufficiently. It's more in that case than eating. Yeah, it, but it just seems to me surprising that it didn't happen, you know, a hundred years ago or fifty years ago. Because there are always new viruses finding strengths. Yeah, viruses that, or bacteria that become resistant a hundred years ago were not superbugs, for example. Mm, then yeah. they become superbugs. How do they become? There is a continuous evolution also in the bacterial, viral level. Everything is evolving, not oh, only nice. you as a human being, everything is evolving, everything is moving towards its highest potential. And you may judge it as good or bad in terms of they mm. may affect you or make you heal or kill you, but mm. for them it's a form of life. Mm. For them is a form of existence and so they're evolving because the whole of creation is into evolution. Then of course you say yes but it's destroying life. Well it's destroying what form but there is another form that is prevailing. So everything is moving. If you look at proliferation, even a cancer mm. cell is a form of evolution, yeah? Although it's in it's a mutating wrong signal. But and ultimately self-destructive. Ultimately self-destruct. It doesn't kill by diminishing. It, it kills by expansion. Yeah. So you have here mm. a metaphor that unregulated expansion kills. Mm. I was just thinking that as you said. Exactly. It. So you have to think in the terms of the higher sphere of things, which is reflected in the microcosmos and microcosmos, and uh, and the relation between the continuous growth kind of continues without a further limitation. And a further mi limitation means limitation of space, limitation of the oxygen, limitation of life, limitation of... If there is an expansion on one way, there is a limitation on another. If so Mother Earth suddenly expands and decides to change shape, she is um, continuously changing and shifting, but is within a certain balance, yeah? Mm. Once it goes beyond that boundaries, mm. the whole solar system gets affected. I recommend you to listen to each podcast more than once in order to benefit from the subtle energy behind the words. Listen with your heart as well as with your mind because it will deepen your full understanding.